All right, folks, Daniel and I are down in Rock Springs, Southwest Texas. We did some work this morning getting some feeders, some stuff set up on a new property. So now we're gonna go do what we do pretty well, go kill some pigs. Should be pretty fun. I got my new Christensen NPR out here. Really looking forward to trying to use something and go a lot further at 100 yards. So it should be a fun shoot. Hopefully we can get on something. Yeah, that's probably a thousand yard rifle, a little overkill for a little pig. 100 yards but what one it'll way work. to break it in right <laughs> it'll work <laughs> yep and then my hunting rifle i put a new scope on it so i actually don't have it zeroed so i'm actually using my target rifle which again way overkill for what i'm doing here but i can shoot pretty well with this so we're gonna have some fun hopefully yeah. pigs will show up oh so. let's let's see some pigs let's put some down yeah it's like 93 degrees out here so they'll probably show up right at dark when it cools down a bit but we'll, we'll both be asleep by that time probably yeah Wind's perfect, so let's just go sit in the blind, grab your fancy chair. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh my gosh, are you on? We're on? Yeah. All right, so we're sitting back there in that blind, and it just rained, and I'm talking about how I left my duffel bag in the back of the truck and it's getting all wet. And Pliny's like, hey, I see pigs, I see pigs, I see pigs. So, and you're like, I don't see them. What I are you didn't talking see about? He's like, 11 o'clock. I'm like, yeah, no, I was looking back through these trees. And I see one dart, like, right across the path, this little, tiny little uh, piglet. And then he's like, hey, let's wait. There'll be sows that come in with them. And so probably, I don't know, probably eight piglets go running in. Something like that, yeah. And there's three, three bigger pigs standing back. There's two black ones and then a red one. And what's hilarious is this pig right here, right before it died, got to relieve itself. Yep. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> we're pigs taking a dump. <laughs> so, so Pliny and I are both on our 6.5 Creedmoors, which are very accurate rifles. And we're on our pigs and we had right, left. I'm on right, he's on left. And I'm like, hey dude, that pig's taking a dump. <laughs> sure enough, the pig's squatting back, taking a dump. So they all come into the pen. I mean, I, I thought it was polite to wait. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah, you gotta wait till he does his, or she does her business. So we go into, the, we, they come into the pen and we kind of had this thing like, all right, We've been trying to do this one, two, three thing. We tried it with ducks, it went miserably wrong. Plenty got his, I missed mine. <laughs> we've, I think we've tried it with pigs before. Yeah. We, we've tried it on different things. We're like, all right, let's do it this time. So they're coming in, there's three in the back, all the piglets are in the pen. And Plenty's like, all right, you ready? I'm like, yep. They're probably 105 yards out, 110. The pen's one, the pen's 100. So yeah, they're probably 110. So they're 110 out. I've got my rifle on, my scope on mine with my new beautiful, beautiful Christensen that is absolutely money. And he's he's like one, two, and as soon as he's about to say three, I see my pig walk over this this T post. I'm like, crap, I'm gonna have to take a shot like as soon as he passes or she passes over the T post. So three, I take my shot as soon as I hear plenty, it's Yeah, we timed it well. I start to drop and start flopping. And then I hear Pliny go, and I, I'm, I made the classic mistake. I didn't, I didn't wrap it back down to four. I'm like, where are they? Where are they? Yeah, I was just wasting ammo at little piglets running around. I, I wasn't gonna hit them. So I dial back down to four real quick. I took one shot on a piglet, but I mean, yeah. not gonna happen. So we see the one flop in there. Hey, let's go walk over there while you're telling. And we're, I'm pumped up. Like the last time we were out here, I missed a couple of hogs. That actually was the genesis of me buying this this rig right here. I wasn't supposed to put the video until Daniel got a chance to redeem himself, so. <laughs> Which I did. Yep. I'm pretty excited about it. So, uh, we're, we both take the shot. Pliny's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got mine. I'm like, yeah, I think that one's mine though, because it's in the area I shot. And, and I then I'm just shot. like, huh, there's only one pig laying there. <laughs> what? I mean, I did kind of jerk the trigger kind of fast, but. But felt, it's a six five Creedmoor. I, I felt at 100, yards. I had 100 yards. I felt pretty good about it. So this is you got the big mama. Yeah. So I got this. She was in the middle. The red pig was on the right, and then Pliny's pig was on the left. There's my neck shot right on her. She yeah. dropped. Perfect shot, man. She dropped. I was gonna hit her in the head, but I decided to give myself a little bit more chance because again, yeah. I missed a few hogs. Yeah. So I shot her in the neck. She was right past this T post. I literally, I think my bullet was right here. Yep. Um, hits her in the neck, she drops, starts flopping. Plenty shooting, we come down here. And I'm like, man, I don't see another pig. And we're kind of looking around. We thought we saw a little piglet over there. So we drop down and look. 
And then I look over here, I'm like, hey, there's a black spot over there. Hey, what's that thing? What's that thing? Like, I was already get, getting ready to start making excuses. <laughs> the sun was in my eyes. <laughs> but I'm like, no, I, th- I feel good about I it. I feel like I shot that and thing. I'm like, oh, it's right over there. There's a pig over there. So anyway, I couldn't be more excited. Yeah. We finally did the one, two, three. Yeah. With Duh. six, five Creedmoors, 110 yards, smoked them both. Both of them in view of dropping. And also match ammo. Poly tip match ammo. Yep. Totally fine. Absolutely. 100%. So we'll, we'll need to look and see if we got exit wounds. I got it. There was an exit wound on that one. That yep. was a smaller one. Well, let's flip this one over. See if you got an exit wound. Because you're probably in that opposite shoulder. Yeah, dude. I bet you. Nope. Yeah, I bet you, because that's a thin jacketed target round, so it probably just blew up, and that I bet you that's just going to look like a mess yep. in there. But I'm all right with that. I think it's effective. At the end of the day, using a 6.5 Creedmoor on a pig, yeah, it works. And ultimately, it's it's midsummer, so I want to get some of the pigs out of here before I start putting more feed, start focusing on deer, so that way I'm not competing with the pigs. So taking two good sows out of the out of the bunch, always good. Pretty exciting day. I'm pumped. So we finally doubled up on the hogs.